Now let's break each of these networks down. So all of us are familiar with the Google search network and let's just say you're looking for weight loss supplements. You have three different parts right here on this page. So the first is Google AdWords and that's what we're talking about today. This is the top three ads on Google AdWords as well as over here on the side. Those are all paid advertisements. Over here, we're not going to talk about this today, but this is organic results. These are results that show up just based on Google's, and these show up just based on Google's algorithm of what they think is most relevant. You don't pay for these positions, but you do a lot of other stuff called SEO or search engine optimization to try to get your ads to show up here. A lot of work, totally different topic. We're not going to talk about that today. So that's the this is the Google search network we're talking about, and that's showing up right here and here and here for free, but we're not talking about that today. Second is the Google search partner network. Those are all these over here on the side. These are also very easy to get your ads to show up, but you do need to have an e-commerce store, and you need to sign up for Google's Merchant Center, and you would add all of your different products in a data feed to Google and then Google helps you advertise once you have your products and your images and, and prices and tax information and all of that. You sell those through the Google Merchant Center and it works very much the same way. You can manage the bids and what you're willing to pay for these ads to show up right in your AdWords interface. But it's important that you keep in mind this is a different shopping channel different search metrics. A lot of these people are really click happy because they see this pretty image and they click on it. You pay for that click. It's important to know that that's going to have a different performance level than all of these ads over here. Why? Because images get clicked more often and they convert at a lower rate. So you have to know those metrics. Third of the topics we're going to talk about is Google search partners. Now this is something that by default you're opted into and that doesn't always mean it's a good thing. These are different networks like AOL or Ask.com or all of these different networks that distribute Google's information because they don't want to keep track of a database on their own. So Google sells advertising space on all of these different networks and those sometimes convert better, sometimes convert worse. Sometimes the click-through is better. Sometimes the click-through is far worse. It's really important to separate this from all of your other Google search network information because if you don't, you're going to see an account kind of like what I showed you before. You're going to be spending a lot of money not knowing which half of your advertising is working. So it's really important to separate this from your regular Google search traffic. And then fourth is the Google Display Network. Remember, this is something that is a little bit different. This is interruptive marketing or interruption marketing. People aren't necessarily searching for weight loss supplements, but they might be watching a video on YouTube about it, or they might be reading an article on the New York Times or Los Angeles Times or any of the thousands upon thousands of blogs out there that advertise Google Ads on their networks. So the good part of all of this is that, yes, by default, when you sign up for Google AdWords, you get all of that traffic by default. However, that's just as much bad as it is good because some of those networks will perform far better for you. Others will perform far worse. Now, there's an order in which you should check those out, and that, that order is as follows. So if you haven't figured it out by now, I'm condoning a policy of inching into the Google network. Start with certain channels. Once those are working well for you, then you can start to get into other channels that might have different performance metrics. And you want to watch each of those channels separately. So in a nutshell, it's, a, it's usually the best idea 
So in a nutshell, it's usually best to start just with Google Search. They'll default you into the search partners, they'll default you into the display network, but you don't want that. Odds are you'll get a lot more clicks than you want. Those will convert at a much lower rate. You should be bidding much lower on those amounts. And just by simply starting out your account with just Google Search and none of the other networks, you'll be a lot better off. You'll know what conversions are working. You'll know what keywords are working. Uh, you'll know if you need to work on your sales funnel to improve conversions. And then only after you know those metrics, only after that do you expand into these other networks. So hopefully that helps give a clearer picture of how to be more efficient with your Google advertising. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below or drop us a line.